Salut coders, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you how we can block and unblock user. We are going to implement this logic using uh, upright and flutter. So with this user, if you go to your, to your chat details, we added this page, which is going to be chat details. So here you can see your different details and you can block this user and you can confirm to block the user. If you go to the database, if you go to the database, you can see this user has been blocked. We have a new user which has been blocked. And we can also unblock the user by doing the same, clicking the unblock button. And you can see a notification showing that user has been unblocked. If you reload here, you can see the detail the user has been deleted so if you are new to this channel may you kindly subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we upload new video so let's get started with the implementation so here let's create a model called a uh, blocked block blocked friend new that file we call it this blocked friend And this is going to be our class name and to add upright we want to store this in upright database copy and press enter so we can just say class like this and let's copy the one that we used for friend contact this one let's just copy this Uh, this field and here display name we don't need it here we just say friend id Need to run this command in terminal. Yeah, a new file has been generated. So let's go and create a collection for this in our upright. Then open upright. And we need to sign in. So let's go to our project database, this database, and we need a collection. This one, you can call it blocked friends. Then we can create it. We need to add some attributes and these attributes are these ones, user ID and friend ID. So let's come back there, create a string user ID, size so just say 50, always required or I can remove it, it's okay. Then here again, friend ID, just make the ID length of 50. So usually, I forgot to do something now each time when I create in when I create a record I want to add an ID so let's come back here let's come back here I just want to add an ID which is the one that you are going to delete ID and then let's run this 
while this is running let's go to indexes and add an index here that i'm going to search user index user id print id so when searching when searching a record i want to search this at uh, this field so here it's going to be free user id and add another one it's for indexing user id and friend id here make it ascend ascending then create this so i will use this index for searching i will search where user id goes to this and friend id is equals to this and then i'll get the record and also i want to search block friends for a specific user so index user id so i want to know if a user is logged in i want to know uh, which friends are blocked for that user so i can search by by user id on the friend on the blocked page so after doing this we are okay with our database and you can copy the collection and you can come back here and you can and this collection is for blocked friends collection blocked friends id so let's copy one of the provider uh, i want to copy let me copy this one and this one is block different repository and copy the name we are going to replace many things here match case like this replace o and here just paste here and put a small letter b this is going to be our repository then we need we know we need to create to create we need to save a a block different so so this one create I just say create and for the create it's going to be blocked block friend upright and let's remove this we want to reuse the code let's remove this let's remove all of this everything so for create we just want to create this and for the id it's already in this object so we just say dot id like this and we want to if the friend has been deleted we want to return a success so we just say true if we manage to add that user into the database or false so it means we have created the user we have created a blocked friend so here it's create blocked friend if they if there's an, any exception so for us let's remove other things yeah we just say blocked block friend upright and this one is get by user id so you can get the block friend for your user and then you pass user id that's why we index is that and here you just say user id and you pass user id remember the collection it's collection blocked friend id let's check above if you use the same no we are supposed to save in this collection so if you get all the records 
this is going to be our in our list this is going to be our list and here we are supposed to match this and we can add we can add here and we can add this Yeah, we just say blocked. Yeah, this is going to be the list of blocked friends, and we will retain blocked friends or yeah, let's close this. Get get blog friends. by user id like this so let's delete other things here and this one doesn't matter so what you want to do this one is get by user id also we want to get we want to check if the if if it exists a block friend exists so what you want to do here we just want to do this copy this to check if the user if the, if you before you send a message you want to check if if a block friend exists so we just say and friend id comma friend id then here equals with this friend id you want to check So by doing this, it will it will retain the record if they exist. So if you if you are blocked, uh, your user and your friend ID will match these two conditions. So if it match these two conditions, you can send a message to this user. So after doing this, we are okay, and the name of the method is changed to this and we want also to be able to delete a friend a blocked friend so you can delete by by running this delete blocked friend and here it's a delete document and it requires AI in ID which is this one that is that is that is the ID we are going to delete and we can remove this we want to add this into our message view model let's go to the chat message view model here yeah. on other providers like this what you want to do is to add this one and here just say block to friend and let's import this we want to add a method called value changed and this one is supposed to it accepts a string
phone message in this and scroll down message and we can do this and we can make it yeah this one so we have created this and let's go here let's go before we send a message here before we send a message here, we want to validate if the message has been deleted if the user is not blocked so check user is blocked And let me make it async. And uh, the future. Who? Is this user blocked either true or false so what you can do here let's put it in a, uh, it's okay what you want to do we just say await in the name of this provider dot we want to get this by friend id so your friend id is the on the other side your friend id is the user so we just say state dot friend id means it's the user who who has blocked maybe your phone number so here we just say we do the opposite friend a state dot user id so we want to check if your user if your user is not blocked by this friend so if it is not Yeah, it's either you can remember you remember it will retain it will retain this so it will retain a list so we just say final list then the list is either so return it's not empty if it's not empty it means you are blocked so what you want to do here before we send a message here in this strike edge we just say if okay i can say final is blocked And I can make it await. If this user is blocked, if it's true, you can't send a message to this user. So what you want to do is to code this method. That we send, we notify the user that you are not allowed to send a message to this user. So it will be. So we are going to end all this and I will just say yeah txt blocked message Tiara remember we are now having the translation so let's go to, to our English translation before we forget we are looking for localization here this is going to be our english localization file then you say you are not allowed to send a message to this user like this and exclamation mark so this is the this is our message that will be shown so after doing this uh, 
we need to handle this in our in our in here let's go to our screen so we can handle it here message notifier then on message is equal to this and here can be now remember so we want to show a snake a snake bar here so there's a method to show a snake bar that is here just copy this and go to our screen and it will show a snake bar So we just call this method with the value. So if you want to send a message to a blocked user, a snake bar will, will pop up and notify you that you can't send a message. And this this one is listening to this to this view model here. If the user is blocked, it's true we show this so we will test it to test this together so the next thing right now we need to create a message detail so that we user if you click the if you click the message here the message screen if you click the message screen you must go to the user detail and in that user detail, that's where you want to add a button to block this user. So let's do that. So let's just copy for a group message detail. Group details. We want to have a similar screen like this one. Yeah, we want to have a similar screen like this one. So I will copy this one. And in our chat list here, we want to have a um, let's create a method called print this one let me put it outside this is going to be a friend details and i want to paste this and this one is a friend Friend details screen. Let's copy this one. Where we are saying group details screen, we just say replace with friend details screen. Friend ID. So let's replace with this. This is the friend ID and and here. Let's just replace this friend ID.
and the part will generate this forever port dot dot and we need to create a state here we need a, a state for our refer board view model means our not this is our notifier so let's copy one of the, our state here paste it and this one will be print detail state copy the class name and let's replace wherever we have Control F, Control R. Let's replace with this, and it will generate this part. Here we need a friend ID. Chat you your user ID, friend user ID. Then we need we need a list here. And this list of self block different upright don't worry it will be it will be one value but it will retain, we will just retain a list so here just remove everything that is here and here on underscore we just replace with this like this and use id friend id let's generate this this is going to be our state so this file has been generated so let's just do open let's remove the import so in our let's let's add this into our git add and let's go back to our view model our new view model in our view model we we need we need a state here and this is the state so we just say build and we will return return a new state by default if everything then we can import so a view model is supposed to have a state in riverboard so this is going to be our our state so what we want to do next is to we need to set these values in our state so the simple the simplest way is just go to any view model yeah we need to set these values set user id so these are the values that you want to set so right now we have the we have the state and we need to generate this file here so before i do that the state is is not available so let's run this again so it will generate this state so our full model is now okay and uh, you can see we can set the state now and this is going to be a user id so let's set also for the friend id let's add the friend id a list of uh, block friends, and this is going to be our input here and let's import this so in our view model we have this we are setting up the the list of we are setting up block friends, and the next thing we need a we need the, we need to get the blocked friends let's say we want to get the details like the friend details and also we want to get the friend details like name and we also want to get the we want to get we want to set to get the blocked friends so what you want to do we need a method here get friend Uh, details and in this method uh, we want to get a we need a repository so like yeah so we are just to make things faster I'm going to use this one let's copy this 
and let's come here so i want to use this one let's import this this one we will get the block difference for that user and also here we need a user user data repository i think this one let's see yeah this one we can get we can get the user details and the name of the repository is this one so what you can do is just do this copy this do this here and paste this so we want to get the details of a user so the details of a user in our friend here i can also say i need a user upright user upright and i can say friend and i can run this also and i can come back here user upright dot get user and from state we want to get this one state dot friend id we want to get the details of the friend and it's not supposed to be now and here we can make it async and here await then we will set this one so we have generated this so what you want to do is just say set user set friend and it can be now so we can call this method here we can call this method like this and the other method that you want to call is this one a uh, get blocked get or i can say is friend blocked so what you want to do here we want to use this method which is this one you to retain details mm. get block friend by user id and friend id so if i am the if i am if i am the you i'm the if i block this user it means my user id so you just say use your use my user id we'll get the details of this one and friend so then it's a list of list of blocked friends so here what you can do we want to set it here you can do this so if this if this one is empty if it's not empty it means we have blocked this user so what i can do is just we can also check if it's not empty mm, what i can do is to go to the state and i can say here by default false and i can say friend blocked sorry it's going to be a bull
and I can generate this one again and I can come here into our model what I can do is just do this set friend blocked and he is going to be able it's going to be an input so if it's if it is not empty it means the friend has been blocked and i set it to true else i'll set it to false So with this logic, we can now use this in our, so this is going to be our, our notifier and this is going to be our state. So let's go to our screen. Let's initialize this. It's going, this one is going to be our notifier. And this one is going to be our state. And this one is going to be our provider. Let's go here. This is our provider. This is our provider we are done here. So let's go back here. And this one, uh, we are going to have two buttons. The other one is to block and the other one is to unblock. So this one is for block. So I will just add a method to say block, block friend. Or I will just say block user. And then I will create this method. So I add a condition here. If state block different is assigned to false yeah this can be now if it's false it means you can block a friend else we can unblock a friend so just copy this and add the ears this condition if it's true here, it means we need to unblock user, block user. Here we just say unblock user. And we can go to our localization file. Let's open our localization, the English one. It's unblock user. So here is txt unblock. Here it was. Txt block. Here is supposed to be block. And here is supposed to be unblock. Here it's unblock and the method here is going to be and the method does not exist. Let's import create this method. Yeah, we will add the implementation to block and unblock user here. So after doing this, we are okay. And here we need to set Mm, my user ID changed 
and we need to say friend id widget friend id and also we need to get friend details after setting this you need to get friend details and also we need to get the logged details of this one then it will update our view so after doing this i think now we are able to to view this page with the details of the user like the name the name would be the title the image and the button to block the user i think that's all and what else do we need here uh, we can okay we can do this we can run this and we want to generate this uh, this route page must be generated so after the route page has been generated we can go to our we can see we can go to our routes in here we need this page So this is going to be the page which was generated the the root details uh, the friend detail route so this page and let's now call this this one so if we click this if i click this uh, message details i must be navigated to the next page to the to this page so let's go to our message screen So I'm now in our message screen. Let's go to our app bar. So in our app bar, let's wrap this container. Uh, this is the container. So let's wrap this with the gesture. Let's wrap this with the gesture. Gesture detector. Yeah. So we will be able to, uh, to handle the events of on tap this one so if you click this and the name of our route i think is this one this one and here we are we have to pass let's import this and it will require Yeah, this is going to be the display name. So you, from this page, we we'll move from this page and go to the next page. So let's run the application and see. So this is going to be, we click this user. Musid, and we want to go to the next screen. Yeah, you can see. This is good. This is the image and the user, and we have the block button. So let's increase the size of the image. And the name is listed here. So let's increase the size of this image. I think we have the configuration here. Radius, let's say 100 and see what 100 look like. I think 100 is too much let's add let's make it 80 the radius of 80 and here uh, it's too plain here so what you can do is just we can add let's add some details like a row like name and a phone number of this user
it makes sense like this so for other designs for better designs we will update this so this is the going to be a user profile so here this is going to be the implementation of blocking a user no so let's implement the logic to block a user so let's go back to our view model so in our view model here we want to add the logic to block a user so we already implemented that so it's going to be easy we are just calling this mm, let's make it a sync yeah, let's make it a sync we need to we need to create this one so if you want to block a user we need to create a new so what you want to do here it's a we need to update this and this let's create this object Final request equals to ID equals to X string comma user ID equals to state dot my user id then the friend id goes to state dot friend id let's see if we have anything else here we can add these three values and then we can pass it here then it's either bull let's see yeah it's return a bull and let's remove this because it's either we don't need and now So block user it's uh, it will return a true or a false. So here you just say future to make it so that you be understand this thing better. And the same is unblock user and we make this async. And what you want to do is just copy. We want to delete, sorry. We want to delete. Then we just say delete. So based on the, because, because we already have this uh, friends, right? So what you want to do from the state, we just say, for for this one let's loop this instead dot block difference by default because right now we know that we have a, okay, I will do the check and then we just delete it. We can just delete here dot sorry, here dot id and 
point it's supposed to be let's remove this then we'll return we'll return true and we want to also to get the latest details like this one get we need to call this endpoints after each every event we have to call this method so that we update our ui we need to call this also so that the ui will be updated based on the new event so let's wait we can wait for this to complete And here we just check this thing is not now. If not equal to now, and it's not empty, it's not empty or it's not now. We need to call this. either we return a false so let's save this so let me block this user and i click yes so let's see if we have an, any error here okay we forgot to do something we got 401 when i was trying to do that so let me show you what we are supposed to do so here we did add a permission so we need to add permissions here to allow every user or users to be able to perform create read update delete then click update so as you can see right now our document is empty so so let's test this now again and i will delete this and i click block i click yes so i think there's a pop-up to go back after deleting uh, i will have to check that also and we can remove that and remain in the same page so if i go to that page again if i go to the same page again you can see the user has been blocked and we can go to this we can go to this and you can see this user this user has been blocked so it means this user will not be able to send a message to this one so we block this user so what you want to do next is to we can unblock this yes it will come back here you, and you can see it is see the user has been blocked we can block it again so let's go back to this screen you can see after x success it's showing a pop-up so we can add a like what we did in we can call this method which is i think we we have a method that we added before let me go back to dashboard okay this method and let me add this method here and here it just a, a myth we can say instead of showing a pop-up to go back here we just say a txt the user user is been blocked has been un has been unblocked in dot tr 
this button i think it's a uh, unblock yes the user has been unblocked and you can see here in this here we just say user has been has been blocked so let's add this in our localization file and we have unblocked and blocked so we just say user has been blocked and we say user has been unblocked like this and we can run the application again let's try to block this user let's let's block this one yes you can see user has been blocked and here we can unblock this user and i can say unblock yes unblock user yes yes the user has been unblocked so thank you guys for watching this video if you are new to this channel may kindly subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we upload new video Salut Kodas.